Hey guys, it's Allie with Miss Allie's Kitchen. I've got a brand new recipe for you today. Today we are making chocolate chip cheesecake bars. And this recipe is brought to you in partnership with Philadelphia Cream Cheese, my favorite cream cheese brand. These cheesecake bars are super easy. I'm gonna walk you through how to do it step by step so you can see exactly how simple it is. And I mean, come on, they're gonna be your favorite new dessert ever. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna do with these cheesecake bars is you're going to make your graham cracker crust. You're gonna take about two cups of graham cracker crumbs or about 14 graham cracker sheets and you're gonna crush them up and mix that with one half cup of melted butter and two tablespoons of brown sugar. Once that's mixed together really well, you're gonna press it into the bottom of a baking dish and then you're gonna get started on your cheesecake. So when you're making cheesecake, the most important thing to remember is that you want all of your ingredients to be at room temperature. This makes sure you have a really creamy cheesecake. If you have lumps and chunks of cream cheese, what can happen is your cheesecake can crack and it's just not as smooth and creamy and it's not that like delicious texture that you're looking for. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take four packages, eight ounces each of Philadelphia cream cheese, and you're going to beat it with a stand or hand mixer. I prefer my stand mixer, which you can see that I'm using here today. But you're gonna whip that until it's really smooth and creamy, and then you're gonna add the sugar, and you're gonna cream the cream cheese and sugar together, kind of just like you would if you were making chocolate chip cookies. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a quarter cup of heavy cream and a quarter cup of sour cream. This really gets that nice, texture and consistency and the sour cream adds a little bit of flavor. Then once that's all mixed together, one at a time, you're gonna add four eggs at room temperature. If my eggs are still cold when I go to make this, I actually just sit them in a bowl with kind of lukewarm slash room temperature water. Then you're just gonna add your vanilla extract and mix everything really well until the eggs are incorporated. Once that's done, you're gonna pull the bowl from the stand mixer if you're using a stand mixer or just put your hand mixer to the side and then you're gonna mix in one cup of chocolate chips. Just fold those in. So your cheesecake batter is then done and you're gonna pour everything on top of your graham cracker crust. It's gonna look so delicious even though it's not even done. And then you're gonna slide it into a 325 degree oven. But in your oven, you're going to have a baking dish filled almost all the way, about three quarters of the way with boiling water set on the rack underneath where you're putting the cheesecake. This creates a makeshift water bath and it makes your oven into a steam room, which really helps your cheesecake not to crack. Another tip, do not open your oven. If you open your oven, you're gonna let some of that steam out and that's what makes your cheesecake crack. So you're gonna bake for about 15 minutes to an hour and five minutes. And then once your cheesecake is done, you're gonna turn the oven off, then you're gonna prop the oven door open and you're gonna let it cool for an hour inside of the oven. This helps it cool really gradually and again, reinforces that no cracking roll. Once it is cooled in the oven, pull it out let it cool on a wire rack. It's gonna take about two hours to cool. Put it in the fridge and it's gonna get nice and cold. You are ready to eat. I know you guys are gonna love this recipe. You can find it at www.missalliskitchen.com. Stay tuned for more recipes, more videos. Thank you guys for tuning in today and happy baking.